Hey, YouTube. Well, I'm just going through my comments. I'm going to read one of these comments and, and then uh, talk about it for a minute. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so this woman name is named Robbie Ann Moore. She gave me a comment 46 minutes ago. And this is in reference to a video I did way back in April 26, 2017. Okay. My video was called, So is Donnie McCurkin Married, Engaged, or What? <clears throat> Here's what she wrote. I saw the sh oh, yeah, I'm going to make sure I get her name right. Robbie Ann Moore. Okay. She said, I saw the show which aired on TBN. He never announced he was engaged. Uh, it was Matt Crouch that announced this. He took Nicole to the Stellar Awards, and it was the public that ran with him and Nicole getting married. He took her to the Stellar Awards way before he appeared on TVN, and Matt Crouch ran away with the story. Leave him alone, and leave him and his business alone. You need to be very careful uh, and keep your mouth off this man of God. What is uh, what is it to you if he is dating or getting married? Are you jealous? Leave him alone! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Okay, Miss uh, Robbie Ann. Okay, something you have to understand, uh, woman. You're not doing this dude no favors by coming on here and talking this crap to me. Uh, so what I asked the question is Don McCurk and married you people you have to understand this let me make be, be very clear with this Donnie McCurkin has declared himself our enemy LGBT people he has declared himself to be our enemy he's gone way out of his way to declare that we are vampires vipers going to hell all that stuff so when he did that I ain't got no respect for Donnie McCurkin he got off easy Because I asked, if, is he actually married? And I questioned, is he, if it, it was a scam that he was presenting himself? To, listen, I would be more than willing to leave, leave that dude alone and never speak his name if I heard him change his stance on me. When, when you declare yourself as somebody's enemy, now he, <clears throat> Donnie McCurkin, okay, Donnie McCurkin claims that he was molested at eight years old. That had him sucking dick and getting fucked in the ass for the next 40 years because this man molested him, a family fam member of his family. His argument should be against child molesting. I am equally, I am in agreement with him about child molesting. I think it's horribly wrong. I think it's horribly wrong if, 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 if someone is uh, abused sexually, male or female. I'm not, I'm not in disagreement with him with that. But no, he turns it into, he turns his battle against homosexuality, because you, got, you know, you, you should be fighting against child molesting. It's wrong. It is definitely wrong. It's just like in the Bible that people make the mistake. When they said all their arguments against homosexuality, against gay people, now, something that, that those people had no understanding of, when they, when they give you examples in the Bible, they're giving you examples of people being raped. They're giving you examples Of people who are being raped, abused, angels being molested, gang banged, gang raped. What's that got to do with, with gay people? So, anyway, Don McCurkin has set himself up to be my enemy. I have contempt for him. Do you understand that I have contempt for him? No, I have no respect for him. As far as you calling him the man of God, why? Why is he the man of God? Self proclaimed man of God because you can sing a song? It's great that you can sing a song. There's a, there, listen here. What is this? Oh, God. I hate when that phone goes off. Anyway, anyway, let me not be distracted. Okay, so you're not doing him any favors by bringing his name back up again. I have nothing but contempt for him. Now, because he's uh, taking it upon himself to go and attack homosexual people at every opportunity he gets, he's my enemy. So don't expect no great th no things to come out of my mouth or silence on the subject of Mr. Don McCurkin. When I think of, of, of hypocrisy, when I think of, of church abuse, 
I think of Don McCurgan. That's the face that comes up. So anyway, let's talk about the Bible for a minute. Because that's where you all seem to be basing all your, your thoughts, your ideas, your morality. All the examples that they give you about homosexuality in the Bible, they're all about abuse. Abuse. Gay people didn't cause us Sodom, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah to be destroyed. No, it was a gang rape of men and women. Gang rape. It's abuse. If this dude, in my opinion, Don McCurgan is a sick person. He's sick. He's damaged. Because I don't give a damn if, if, if somebody touched you when you were eight years old or not. That does not make you suck dick and get fucked in the ass for the next 40 years. So that's just his excuse. His mind, his his psychology, he needs help. Now, if he is putting himself, he wants so much to be a part of this church thing, because it's personal. It's just personal. He didn't have to go attacking all of us. He did not have to do that. If he wants to be delivered from homosexuality, he wants to be delivered from. He don't want to do it no more. Don't do it. That's my argument. Just don't do it. You ain't got to now turn your turn your back on all homosexual people. Like you, he don't know me. He don't know that. He don't know a damn thing about. Donald McCurgan is speaking out of his own experience. If he feels like that man touching him at eight years old caused him to live his life as a homosexual, and now God has delivered him, be delivered, honey. Be delivered. Listen, I was delivered from drug addiction. Delivered from it. It's gone. It is gone. 15 years, it is gone. Does that mean now that I have to go attack people who are on drugs? Do I have to make them demons and vampires and vipers? It's not necessary to do that. I got delivered. Hallelujah, I'm happy. Be happy. So that's my point with him. As far as you writing this stuff on my, girl, you just kicked off a, a new anger for me. This whole, did this, this whole church thing about this deliverance thing. You know, people say they believe in God. You believe in God. You believe God is great. How in the hell you ignore that there's some people are homosexual? For thousands of years. How you just ignore it and keep demonizing it, tearing it down? It is part of nature. It's nature. A person's sexuality is his nature. So if it's in nature, then it's beautiful, right? Because you read something in the Bible, you don't understand. Those ancient people had no understanding of homosexuality. They had no understanding. They believe that when they die, they ask the God, Rabbi, when, when this person dies, what was this passage? Since the person, the white woman had several husbands, right? I'm, I'm uh, paraphrasing the story. A woman, you know, uh, she had a husband. He got died, he died in war because they were constantly killing people in the Bible. But anyway, so she married the brother, I believe is how it goes. So she was married three times because the person died. It was the only condition under which they, they could marry someone else. They asked him, who would it be in heaven? And was it Christ that told her that you wouldn't be with anybody in heaven? Is that how it went? Something like that. Anyway, my point is this. The people had different understandings about life. They believe that about heaven. About you you die, you're with your wife in heaven. And he debunked that. Okay. Their understanding was wrong. Their understanding was wrong on that. It could be wrong on other things as well. They had no understanding of what a homosexual what homosexuality was. They understood rape you shit. If you go to prison right now, if a man rapes another man, that's not a homosexual. they're not gay. It's an act of violence. Anyway, 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 anyway. Now you got me upset. Okay, let me let this bullshit go with this McCurkin person. When he went up there and, and and declared himself my enemy, then that is what he is. So don't expect no wonderful respect from me about this man you call him the man of God. That ain't from God. That's just from the book. He's a Bible worshiper. Apparently that's what you are. But don't be writing that bullshit on my thing. Of course you get erased anyway, but I just feel like I should express to you. Don't be coming to me about, I better be careful. What, is God going to hit me with a lightning bolt because of Donnie McCurgan? When you are hateful to me, my point is this. Here's what I want to say. 
Same thing with that damn Kimberell. When you treat people with disrespect, you deserve their disrespect. You get what you give. You're hateful to other people. They have a right to be hateful to you. That's all I got to say.